knew we were creating a, a fighting game that potentially someone who's never played a fighting game before might be drawn to. If I'm a really big Sly Cooper fan or a really big Crap of the Rapper fan, I might come to this game and I still want that player to have a good time and to not be alienated. That's uh, one of the sort of inherent risks of making a fighting game is a lot of people feel like the genre is not for them because there's a lot of esoteric rule sets and nuance and you know, dexterity challenges that can make it very, very difficult for players. So. Uh, when we really first sat down and, and decided on very basic things like what, are, how are we going to control our characters? How are they going to do their moves? And, you know, what are the big picture, you know, big ticket items that we want our players to be thinking about in the moment to moment? We, we kept the fact that we were making a, what almost might be an introductory experience for some players in mind. We wanted to appeal to the widest possible audience and um, have representation from early generation as well as obviously new franchises that are coming out. And uh, we wanted people to be able to have accessibility to this and not have you know, 16 button combos, um, but still have a tremendous amount of depth. And obviously that's a tall order. But it was just really important for us that if a guy you know, really dug Sly Cooper, you know, we wanted him to be able to have fun with our game without having to go through this crazy you know, dexterity challenge to get there. In this game, we have 20 main characters. So each character, you have to have very special care on them. And, a lot of work goes into each character and they spend a lot of time in development. It's like working on 20 different games at once, you know. It's, it's, you get all these great IPs, these great characters from all these different series and you put them in one game. And so that's the biggest thing to me when I first came on, it's like, oh, we have to put a lot of care into these characters because, you know, there's 20 different people, 20 different developers that are just working hard on their individual games and they were gracious enough to let them come into our game and so it's, it's, it's really great working on all these characters. And this you can play a great many ways, and each character is vastly different from the others, and, um, and that's really what I appreciate in it and in the games I like to play on my own. Doing a lot of research for this game, all these guys, they made these crazy characters, but they are gods in their world. Kratos, he can just, just he can destroy gods, he can destroy titans, he can you know tear enemies limb from limb. In our game, we had to make him just as good as Fat Princess. <laughs> or make Fat Princess just as good as him. In her game, she's a flag. I mean, it's it, just having that that uh, perspective was very hard. And moving from you know a game where you know games where one character is very important in a fighting game, all characters are equally important. Sometimes it depends on the developer. Sometimes we'll get to sit with them and say, "Hey, this is what we want to do with your character," and they'll have their ideas of what they want to do with the character. And it's like it becomes a meeting of mind when our designers and their designers sit together and say, "Hey, let's work on this and let's do this." and and we get it to a point where we're all happy with it and then we move forward. Clearly on the level design side too, this, this is a game where I think levels um, play a part that's, you know, and, and, and a showcase that's different from a lot of other fighting games. If you're playing in Hades level, there's got a war music playing, and then there's the mashup happens from the Patapon music back in the day. There's this cool transitional bridge where the beat matching happens and, and the beats are mixing together and it, it seamlessly floats into the next music. And these things happening, it's, it's been really, really cool between, but amongst different IPs. I think the fans will be so stoked on the music in that game. I literally think you could put all the music together just from our levels and play it in our car ride and it would, it, it's great music. The, our composer did a fantastic job and it is, it's, it's mashing up one IP to the second IP. It's the first game I've worked on ever that I've loved playing this much. And I mean, I've worked on, on Guitar Hero and a couple other, you know, Tony Hawk. I mean, some really big games that were a lot of fun. And uh, this game is way more fun than those. I, I'm just excited to get this thing out the door and get people playing it because we've been dying to get it in the hands of players. Um, whenever we do, it's really gratifying because people almost immediately, five minutes into grabbing that controller, they understand what the game's about. They understand its differences from, you know, our, um, or I, I don't know, not competitors really, but um, differences within this genre and, um, and what we've done with it. And it's really gratifying to see them get on board with it. And that's, that's what we're excited to, uh, to do, get this thing out and get people playing it.